you all to the next session on know how series this video is about stick diagrams the first two parts of the video on stick diagrams has covered the basics of stick diagram rules and how it is going to convey layer information through color codes and in the second part of the video we have seen how to convert a particular boolean expression into a symbol schematic and how to obtain euler graph for each of the pull up network and pull down network and how to finally trace the common euler path so that's the summary of the first two parts of the video on stick diagrams the video link is provided in the description box below now let us continue on having that particular euler path how to draw stick diagrams for a given boolean logic function in the previous video on stick diagrams which means the second part of the video we have seen how to represent the given boolean function into a schematic static cmos circuit design and how to obtain the euler graph and how to trace the common euler path by keeping in mind two important conditions one is to traverse each branch of the graph exactly once and to have identical ordering of inputs for both pull up network and pull down network euler graph so with these conditions in mind we have arrived at a common euler path which is a to b b to c c to d and d to e so this is going to help us in drawing the stick diagram for the given boolean logic function now as per the design rules of stick diagram which we have seen in the first part of the video here i have first fixed the vdd and vss layers with sufficient space between them and then we have the p diffusion layer for the pull up network and n diffusion layer for implementing the pull down network and then we have the polysilicon layers since we have five inputs so five different gate terminals are there all gate terminals are represented using polysilicon red color layers and then i have marked the inputs gate inputs as a b c d e now what we need to understand is we have found out that the common euler path is from a to b b to c c to d and d to e so that is the order with which we arrange these polysilicon red layers suppose if the common euler path is c to d d to a a to b b to e then we need to arrange the polysilicon red layers in such a way of your common euler path since here we have obtained it as a b c d e i have arranged the common polysilicon gate layers as a b c d e in the same order of the common euler path before proceeding with the connections of drain of nmos and pmos together and all those things what we need to do is we need to do the labeling so here i have just first labeled the vdd vss layers and the polysilicon red gate layers and then what are the remaining things that we need to mark us as per the euler graph we have mentioned certain interconnection nodes with that interconnection nodes we will help us in drawing the stick diagram in a very easy manner so let me just denote those interconnection nodal names which we have marked as 1 2 3 and all those things which means they are nothing but the vertices of the euler graph so those vertices i'm just going to Uh, name here to start with first we have this vertices as vdd and then we have 1 2 out as one of the vertices 3 vss and 4 so all these vertices have to be marked here or labeled here in the stick diagram which will help us in drawing the other connections very easy to start the labeling let us begin with vdd so vdd is placed between b and c edges and then we need to proceed with one which is placed between b and a edges so first vdd let us fix here and then one which is between a and b and then i have two which is placed between a and c and we need to understand between a and b there is already one more one which is marked so therefore i cannot mark two here and i don't have the intermediate node exactly to mark between a and c as two so therefore one side of a is filled with two and the one other side of a is filled with one so therefore here i have marked the one side with one so therefore the other side have to be filled with 
2. And similarly, C, one side we have to fill with 2. And we can also observe that between C and D edge, there is 2. So therefore, here also we can mark here, between C and D terminals, I have marked this 2. And then coming here, again look at the Euler graph here, between E and D, we have 2 in common. And between E and D, I have out also in common. So therefore, what we can do is, between E and D, I can take the output terminal first. So I will mark the out as here, between D and D. But between D and D, the other side of D and E are, are having 2. So therefore, here one side of D is filled with 2. So therefore, I can fill up the remaining side of E with 2 again. And coming for the pull down network. Pull down network between C and D, again there is an output node. So therefore, let us first fix that. Between C and D, I have an out. And then between A and B, I have VSS. So look at here, A and B, I have VSS. Let me first fix that. So between A and B, I have VSS. And then you can see here, at the other end of E, one end of E is fixed with 4 and the other end of E is fixed with VSS. And this 4 is between D and E. So therefore, we can fix D and E. Between that, I have 4. And then I have VSS in, on the other side of E. So the left out node is 3. This 3 is between A and B. You can see here, between A and B, we have this 3. And between B and C, also we have 3. So, what we can do is, first let us fix between B and C. So, that is the first thing we observe. So, between B and C, it is 3. And the other side of A is filled with 3. Because between A and B, I have VSS and 3. One side of A is filled with 3. And the common node between A and B is VSS. That also we have marked. And the other side of B, which is in common with C, that is also marked with 3. So this is called as labeling. Now it is very easy to connect all the common nodal terminals, whichever we have named. No, we can just connect them in common and finish the stick diagram. So that we will see next. Now to complete the stick diagram, we need to just connect all the common nodal interconnections. So here to start with, I have one, but I don't find any parallel one which is marked in the pull up network implementation. So I cannot justify join this one with any of the things. So I'll just ignore this as of now. And now let me move on for next vertex, which is two. So now here also I have two, here I have two, here I have two. So it is very easy to join all these twos. So let us first complete that. Then what is left out in the pull up network implementation is we have to join this VDD with a VDD layer that is already fixed and then we need to connect this output and this output that let us join later on at the end of the stick diagram after completing the pull down network connections also. So now first let us fix this VDD connection. Now we have fixed that. Let us move on for the pull down network implementation. In pull down network also, let us finish this VSS ground connections. So here I have VSS, here I have VSS. Both of them have to be joined to the VSS layer. Then to start with the next vertex, we have in common 3 and 3. So this can be connected in parallel. Then I have 4. But as of 1, this is also going to be very similar because uh, both of them don't have any paths to join together. So let us ignore this 4 also. The left out thing will be out of this pull up network and out of this pull down network. Let us just join them and give a straight connection to this out. Once all the output and input layers are connected using blue color metal layers, then the last design rule for the stick diagram is to place a contact cut at wherever we have two different layers that are connected together. So that let us place here. Since I have a black background, I use white contact cut, but usually the, as per the rule, we need to use a black color contact cut. So this will be proceeded for all the two different layer interconnections.
Now, after placing the contact cut points wherever we have two different layers, this is going to be the final stick diagram for the logic expression y equal to a plus b dot c plus d dot e. Hope you all have understood how to draw a very clear stick diagram for any given Boolean logic function using Euler's method. The final summary on all the stick diagram videos is follow the design rules which were we have specified in the first part of the video and then using Euler's method we need to first convert the given Boolean logic function into a circuit schematic using static CMOS implementation then identify the Euler graph, draw the Euler graph for pull up network, pull down network and then trace the common Euler path with two conditions in mind and then using that common Euler path just fix the VDD, VSS layers, polysilicon layers, P diffusion layer, N diffusion layer and do the labeling with all the VDD, VSS labels A, B, C, D, E which means the gate labels and then also name all the interconnection vertices names. So that is helping us to draw the stick diagram in a very easy manner. You could have realized how the interconnection nodal names, which we have named as one, two, three, four, which means the vertices, how it has helped in drawing the stick diagram or in drawing the stick diagram very easily for any given Boolean logic function. Catch you all with another interesting video on layout design rules and implementation of layout design for a common Boolean logic function. Until then, thank you all for watching this video on Electronics Insight channel.